Hi, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Today I'm excited to talk about the Tamarack flush mount kits. So Tamarack offers these kits in an eight panel and a four panel kit. They're a standard pitch roof mount kit. So essentially what happens is the panels are mounted in the same plane as the roof. So we're gonna go ahead and break down the various parts, how they assemble and sort of show you on a small scale and uh, an actual application, how this system goes together. The kits themselves are offered in black rails with black feet, so they blend in with your typical 60 cell panel with a black frame and they look stellar. Here's an example of some of the parts. Um, the, this is the mill finish version, um, but again, the kits are gonna come in a black finish so this is a 2.3 rail. The, they offer the rail in a couple of different heights, actually three different heights, but commonly available for roof mounts. We have the 1.6, which is a little bit shorter than this, um, or the 2.3. So if you have applications where you have high snow load, uh, like we do here, you're going to want to use the 2.3 rail. You can look up the wind load and snow load limits for the different options of rails. The Tamarack rails are an extruded aluminum rail. I cut these ones. Um, we're going to go ahead and mount a panel onto them and I'm going to show you how it goes together. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is uh, the splices. So the splices slide into the rail. and they allow you to splice multiple rails together. So when you get the kit, you can you, you have multiple sections of, of rails. You can use the splices to push those rails together and make a long run of panels. So if you wanted to have all your panels in a portrait orientation, you know, several panels in a row, then you will use the splice kits like this to bring the rails together. The feet for the Tamarack rails are pretty pretty cool. They, they just have a little clip here. So you slide the clip on to the rail or the, the rail onto the clip. And then when you tighten down the bolt, the, the clip holds the rail in place. So typically when you're mounting this product uh, on a roof, you're gonna find the rafters, and that's essentially where you're gonna secure the feet. There's a multitude of different methods for finding the rafters, but you're gonna find the rafters, you're gonna find out, your typical rafters are gonna be something like 18 or 24 inches on center. So you're gonna find the rafters and you're gonna, you're gonna mark them. In the particular installation that I'm gonna show you, we did the feet at 48 inches. That allowed us to withstand a 50 PSF snow load and something like 150 mile an hour wind rating. We don't have that high of a wind rating here, but the main design constraint for that installation was the 50 PSF snow load. And the 2.3 rail met that target with the 48 inch spacing. So you're gonna go ahead and find your rafters. You're gonna mount your feet to your flashing. So here's your flashings here. The feet themselves will slide up underneath the, the flashing. The flashing will typically slide up underneath your shingle if you have an asphalt shingle roof. And then you'll lag the, the foot in to your rafter. There's a multitude of different type of flashing configurations that you can use with the Tamarack rails and the, and the feet. I used the quick bolt flashings because they were a lot easier than using the you know, a, a flashing that tucked up under. And also it was very cold when we did our installation. So there's a tar layer on the edge of the asphalt and it's very hard to get that up when it's very cold. So anyways, let's go ahead and put some of these feet on, on the rails. When you mount the feet to the roof, they're gonna be in place on the roof before you get the rails up there. At least that's the common way to do this. When you have the feet mounted onto the roof, obviously you're gonna draw out a chalk line and make sure everything's straight. The rails themselves just set right down on top of the, the feet, I'll, I'll show you. And then you can just go by real quick and tighten them up. So if we just simulate, you know, the foot essentially is mounted 
to the roof and effectively you're just going to set the rail down on top of the foot, level out the rail however you want by moving the, the base up and down so that your, all your rails are perfectly level and then you come in and just tighten, tighten the foot up. So what's really cool about the feet again is that you know, the rails themselves don't have to be in any particular place. The, the feet just easily clip onto the, onto the rail at any point and you can go, you know, at just about any height on the rail to get it perfectly level. Alright, so you're, you're going to have your rails essentially mounted on the roof at this point and you're going to have you know, however many rows in the example of the installation that we had here, there's essentially two rows. These two rows are going to hold 10 panels on each row. We have the essentially the, the rails laid out and now it's time to bring the panels up and put them onto the rails. Okay, so one of the coolest features about the Tamarack kit here, in my opinion, is that the clips that you use to clamp the panels to the rails, they hold themselves in place on the rail. So you can put up your clips, grab a panel, slide the panel into place, push your clips up against the panel and tighten them down. That alone is such a convenience because you know your typical rail mount solution, you're constantly fumbling over these clips. They fall off the roof, you know, you're 10, 15 feet up off the ground and trying to get the clips back after they've fallen off the roof is kind of a pain in the butt. So the fact that these hold themselves in place is a real big convenience. So you bring your panel up on the roof and you're going to lay it down on top of your rail and you're going to go ahead and slide the clamp up onto the edge of the panel and you're going to tighten it down. So this bolt up here as well as all the rest of the bolts with the Tamarack equipment, they're all exactly the same size. For the L feet over here and for the clamp, they're all a half inch bolt, so you only have to use one socket to tighten up everything. All right, so you go ahead and tighten down the clamps. This is a self-supporting edge clamp, so you can use this on the end, or you can use a flush mount clamp as well. So we'll go ahead and show you the flush mount clamp. Just like all the rest of the hardware, half inch bolt, same socket, you're gonna go ahead and cut your rail off flush with the edge of the panel. You can't use a standard clamp here, obviously, because there's nothing to clamp onto. So Tamarack has their flush mount clamps. What you do is you go ahead and lift up your panel. You slide the clamp underneath the panel. Then you go ahead and pull the clamp back over the top and then you go ahead and tighten that down. And now you've got the edge of the panel completely flush with the rail. Last thing you do, you just go ahead and pop your end cap on and now your rail is nice and finished off cleanly. So what's really unique about the Tamarack rails is the actual rail itself can act as a gutter. So you can run your electrical wires for all your array connections through the gutter um, the rail itself and you can use these wire retaining clips essentially to hold the wires in place underneath the panels so that you don't they don't pop out of the rail. That keeps the wires up off the roof um, in a nice dedicated channel and then when you want them you know to come out and go into your junction box essentially you can just pull them out of the rail and tie them into your junction box. Okay, so this is the Tamarack pitch roof system. If you have any questions, feel free to give our team a call and they'll help you uh, with putting a kit together for your project. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.